Hi and welcome back. I have May's empties. I'm gonna get through these super quick, so let's just get on into it. I finally finished up the 32 ounces of Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleanser. I think that I bought this two years ago. I'm pretty sure. Uh, this is my favorite like quick dry brush cleanser. I have another one of these that I had bought at the Sephora sale last year, like not in November, but like a long time ago. So I always, always have this on stock um, or on hand. What I do is I decant it into like this little spray bottle. I just got this one from Walmart for like a dollar or something. And I have my roll of paper towels and I just take off a little sheet of paper towel and I spray it from here um, just directly onto the bristles, wipe it off in the paper towel. It works really well. The smell doesn't bother me. I know some people don't like the smell of this. It's got like a vanilla alcohol type scent, um, but it's amazing. It works on my natural hair bristle brushes, on my synthetic brushes. I will never be without this. And for $39, and this lasted me, I'm gonna say almost over a year, probably a year and a half. I think that's a great deal. Um, I used uh, this Pureology Hydrate Shampoo and Conditioner. And I think that this irritated my scalp, honestly. Every time I would use it, I would find like, it would make my scalp itchy. Um, so I'm really glad to be done with this. I probably will not buy the Pureology brand again. I'm using up like a L'Oreal one that I have right now. Um, I really like the smell, but I think it was the mint in here that was like irritating my scalp. So it's too expensive for it to hurt, hurt my little head. Um, I finished up a Love and Sunshine by Bath and Body Works lotion. I don't necessarily love their lotions. I don't find them to be super moisturizing, but I tried. Sticking with the body care, this is an item that I got from Octoly and I Am Organic. They sent it to me for free in exchange for my review, and I really did like it. I have the scent Coconut and Green Tea, um, but for four ounces, it's $20, which I think is really, really expensive for it being a body oil. I liked this at night. Um, it moisturized my skin throughout the night, but then in the morning, I wasn't as moisturized as I am with my Tree Hut body butter. Um, so I wouldn't purchase this only because of the price. I think it's really too much money. They do sell an eight ounce for, um, how much is eight ounce? The eight ounce is $33, so it's a better deal, but it's kind of expensive. I'm gonna link to their website down below anyways. Um, but yeah, I love the smell. And it wasn't super oily, like where you're like wet oily for a long time. Um, but it was, it was not bad. The price threw me off with the $20 price tag. I have two cotton rounds from Swispers. Um, I use them for my toner and for taking off my nail polish. So I buy the Costco pack. I really like those. Pureology Color Fanatic, um, what is this? Like a hair beautifier? I don't know. It was basically like a leave-in treatment and it came for free with my shampoo and conditioner. I did enjoy this, very much so, but I don't think that I would want to buy the big one because I have my hair oil that I'm kind of hooked on. Here's a deluxe sample of the kale and spinach green tea hyaluronic acid moisturizer by Youth to the People. It was okay. Um, I don't think I would buy the full size, just a basic moisturizer. This Tatcha the Water Cream. Uh, this is an adorable little deluxe sample packaging. It smelled absolutely amazing, but again, just a basic moisturizer. I felt like it wasn't moisturizing enough for my skin. Another deluxe sample is this Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. I really enjoyed this, but the full size is hecka expensive. So maybe one day, but I also don't really love that it comes in a pot. I prefer squeezy tubes for my eye cream more because I can control the amount that comes out of it. I used up a deluxe sample of the Becca First Light Priming Filter. Some days I like this, some days I didn't. I think on the days that I accidentally put too much on, um, it was too much. Like, it didn't do its job. I don't know, I don't think I would buy the full size of this though. Dr. Jart's BB 
cream or beauty balm. I really, really liked this. I wore it on the days where I was subbing for the PE teacher at school or I was doing like lunch duty. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed this. I would probably pick this up if I'm, if I'm looking for a BB cream. Another item that I got from Octoly is the Muncher Big Mascara by Lancome. I really, really loved this mascara. I used it for three months straight. Um, at the end of the three months, it wound up getting a little bit like clumpy, and I think that was just because it was at the end of its life. I would definitely buy this by myself, um, but I did want to say I did get this for free from Octoly and Lancome. Um, this mascara, though, was, oh man, it's beautiful mascara, and I know Emily from Emily Concealer and Coffee really likes that. It's her favorite. Akudos Lancome, you did a great mascara. Um, I used up the Tarte Tartiest, Tartiest mascara. This was just a sample. I liked this for about a week or two. It's got like a really prickly brush like the Benefit There Real one. Um, but then a couple days ago, I realized that it was making my lashes look shorter than they are. And it also smudged really, really bad on my um, this area and then up on my brow bone. Even with a primer underneath this, it's smudged a lot. So I would not purchase a full size of this. I have some perfume samples. Um, what is this? Altier Cologne Orange Sanguine. I really enjoy this. It's very citrusy and fresh. And then Versace Bright Crystal is one of my new favorite perfumes. I have not bought the full size yet because I still have some samples I'd like to go through, but it's very fresh smelling. And for some makeup products. A deluxe sample of the Sugar Rosé Lip Balm by Fresh. I even dug out of there. I enjoyed this, but I don't want to spend $20 or more on a lip balm. It's just not for me. One that I've had for probably a year and a half is a Smith's Rosebud Salve. And I really, really liked this. I would only wear it at night, though. After I um, wash my face, exfoliate my lips, I would put a pretty decent layer of this on and I think that it did a great job moisturizing my lips. Um, I would purchase this one again. I have a couple other ones that I'm trying to get through right now. This is by Smith's as well. It's a Tropical Ambrosia. I kind of like this application better than in the tin. Um, it's just easier and I don't have to get my fingers dirty. But I don't have a problem like digging into pots and putting stuff on my lips. It's never bothered me. I finished up two eyeshadows in May. One of them was Brulee by Wet n Wild. It's just a cream color. Um, it was in one of my projects, I think. Maybe it wasn't, I don't know, but I finished it up. The other one that I finally finished up in my top to bottom project pan with Andy May is Max Stars and Rockets. It's completely gone. I have a backup of this one already. And two more things. Smashbox's Photo Finish Primer Oil. I was using this as like a neck and chest oil at night, but it is finally gone. This was in my 18 and 2018 project pan, so that one's gone. And then another item from my top to bottom project with Andy is Max Studio Fix Foundation. I used up the very last of it today. Um, this is what's on my face. I wound up moving this from the bottom, one of my bottom items to a top item. I actually wound up really liking this foundation as long as I didn't put too much on. I found when I was layering like two layers of it, it was breaking down on itself. Um, so as long as I used just like one pretty good layer, then it worked out really nicely. Um, I think the coverage is great on this. Um, my freckles still show through, which is what I like in a foundation. I don't like it to be too heavy. Um, and for the price being only $30 for a foundation, I would probably purchase this again. I am working on my Fenty foundation that I have right now, so I won't buy a new foundation until that one's gone. But I did. I wound up really liking it, and now I have another item for Back to Mac. Okay, so all together, not including my deluxe samples or the free items that I got, like from Octoly, I have used up $158 worth of product this year. Not this year, this month. And that's pretty good. That's about my average. It's around $140, $150 a month of items used up. So yeah. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in the next one.